Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Road to 56, as the Kingdom of Scandinavia, or Scandinavia. So, where we left off, Poland has fallen, and Germany has just declared war on the Netherlands, and then Belgium will be coming soon. So, we're waiting for things to get kicked off on our end. Main thrust of this will be to try holding... I'm going to try buffing these up to the regular infantry division. Because we know they're going to come for us up this way. They're also probably going to try doing naval landings around things around here. So, we've already got the submarines on convoy raiding. And all of these convoy escort ships will be will be moved on to fight wing lane. And we will see how this goes. I expect that as soon as the war actually we join the war, we will be asked to join the Allies. And I have started building some garrisons on Iceland, Faroes, and Greenland. I'm gonna ignore Jan Mayen because there's not there's nothing really here. There's no building slots because it's a tiny island. Small islands, rural region, rural region. Yeah. To be honest, if the Germans do take Greenland, it's just going to be a minor irritation more than anything else. But let's see how this goes. So we've just um, nationalized Landsberg because I do not trust the Germans to not turn it against us. And I'm going to double back and get this resource utilization and then industrial research program. Mainly because we're going to need the extra slots. That gives us a factory, which is going to go on... Hmm. Not planes. Temperature equipment. Gallery. I don't know. Probably put on anti air for now. Let's give these guys some anti air. Just basically, I started with this Binair division. I'm turning that into a kind of coastal garrison unit or reservist. The infantry division is just going to be a classic 7 2 with support anti tank, support air. Capital recon for now, though actually I might buff that up to the. Yeah, I'm going to buff that up to motorized recon because it has, a, it has some extra defense and breakthrough. Plus some extra recon if we're on the. Let's use up some of our trucks, but not enough that we were too worried about. That wasn't much of a surprise. The other team is just a speed bump. Luxembourg will be just as well. And just like that, Luxembourg is gone. And of course, the USSR has now declared war on Finland. Let's send them anything. Maybe some lend lease. And. Probably won't make much of a difference, but
So my plan for these planes, once they've trained up, is I'm going to put one here in Jutland as a kind of maybe close air support, maybe naval strike. And the other will be attached to um, Norway to give them some extra support. And we can actually get some of our own oil. Always worth doing. At least in this game. And I just realized, or remembered rather, I actually have close air support, dedicated close air support on the, or air superiority on the Jutland Peninsula. I could probably repurpose those though, because these are, these are just multi-purpose close air support. They're not great, but they'll do the job. I might just add machine gun. This makes air attack. And depends on what I say. Machine gun turret. Oh, can't flash. So, light machine gun turret just to provide some air defense. Now, this is going to. I'm not being here. And the good thing about some um, version of them is that's a lot quicker than making out new ones. Give that going. Well, Finland seeks Swedish support. Hmm. Lose some manpower. Well, we give them some artillery and equipment. I think we can do that as best we can do now, because I just know the Germans are coming for us sooner or later. Yes, we finally got this. Combat unit destruction. This grants us extra air superiority and close air support. So close air support, fighter bombers, heavy fighter bombers. They'll have extra agility. And since our planes are close air support, their agility has gone up a fair bit. A little bit, twenty percent. Oh, that's nothing to be sneezed at. And of course, maniacal mustache is going down the treaty with the USSR. Means probably get become for us next. Hmm. Operation Icarus in a war goal against the Republic of Iceland. Well, he actually went with Razor Ubrung. Well, doesn't matter. So here's our first tank design. I get these so I can have some armor later. So V2 of our infantry division will get will get a medium tank battalion added on. Just to provide a little bit of armor, some heart attack. 
Thanks for soft attack. Hit through. A bit of HP. Right now they've got the extra recruit, extra slot. And could go with arms neutrality or neutral no more. It's go time. Oh, not quite, but the sentiment still applies. So now we've got upgraded um engines. We can make a very Beefy plane. Good air defense, good air attack. Agility is not great. Not terrible. Range, not great, but I'm not going to be using these for very much, for that sort of thing. Basically, this thing is going to shrug off everything that's thrown at it. Oh, but anyway. And I'm going to turn one of these into the V2 Infantry Division. Not quite enough tanks for this bus, we're going to get there. Just going to add a couple of um, ports and Scania while I'm at it, before I join the Allies. Because I can do that by just clicking this button. Does take about thirty days, but after I've got that, I will probably go into. Ooh, let's see, the winter equipment. Then a few other these things here. I'll get signal company now so they can eventually get civilian signal corps. On the covert operation fronts for still about three or three days from encrypting their cipher. Speed that up a little bit. We're also going to be sabotaging some of their industry in Poland. That should interfere with them a little bit. And out of all these states' mandates, hmm, personality cult, that's not much useful to me. Because war goal time, by inspiration, would give us some extra war support. But if we're fighting a defensive war, I'd say that wouldn't be too much of a problem. Plus communism, hmm. Secular institutions, research speed. Uh, this though, less fascism wouldn't be bad. Not the any less supply can or supply consumption. Why hold off for a while? Just save up, save up my power for once it actually starts. See how things go. I think it's go time. The only thing I'm really doing with these destroyers now is updating their radar. So I'll put their other things. Hmm. What the hell? Finance investment in Turkey. Lost our first spy to the Axis. Yeah. Fairly well.
two days. We are in the yeah. Support isn't as good as I'd like. Oh, we can't actually have this divine inspiration because uh, we're at war. Nope. Utilize the film industry to get some extra force up. See? Some more support. And I might just put this on the Danish belts. Right, we're losing some air support over the Jutland Peninsula. Not a lot I can really do about that now. Naval strikes do an awful lot to screw over. Um, What was this? Old submarines. But as it sounds, we have naval supremacy. Oh, we lost one of our submarines. And do you know how we're going to deal with that? By building more blocks. And I'm going to deploy them here to Bergen. Yeah, great convoys, great convoys. Yeah, we're not getting much supremacy here because of all the air support, but I'm going to need a lot more fuel. ships on low strength. Ow. I zoomed in too much. So what did we lose? An old light cruiser, some close air support, and planes. I was like, we kind of came out of that one okay. Put this on a low risk though, just to really block them. Say so we, yeah, we had we could have done that better, but we didn't lose too many ships. So communism and extra like that, but we're gonna stuff with it. Gee, we're going to need a lot more things. Right. 
It's Mondays. Well, I do not want the nationalists anywhere near this, so. Might be will of the people now. Probably because the supplies are going to help. If I could feel. Well, yeah. Well, that's a victory. Mind you, we are getting help from the from the British here. But we didn't lose anything there. I'll take that any day. Fortunately, we're losing quite a few subs there. Again, I think we just need to whittle them down a bit. Um, down many of their, as many of their convoys as possible. Write them, write them thing. We don't have air superiority, but what we do have is naval supremacy. Most places. Us here, not so much. That was expensive. We need way more shipyards than I thought we would. Basically, we don't have nearly enough shipyards to put out subs and build up all these. But so far, somebody forgot to put a key there, so we have no idea what we've destroyed. Just that we've destroyed something. It's all good though. All a good cause. Now I need to start doing armor trains. Because these are far less vulnerable than also air force. So, as it stands, they can't really do a lot to us other than skirmish over the air. But nor can we. Mark is still preparing. We have the 38th Welsh Infantry Division here as well. Yeah, I think they outnumber us, but we don't have to actually push. I'm going to prepare this for later. Yeah, superior enemy, but like I said, we don't need to push. We just need to hold. Oh, I did not expect the Italians to do that. Well, Sweden. Do awfully mind helping out here. Really did not expect the Italians to try doing that. Sneaky little bastards.
first, I don't think they can really get the supplies in to help. And we outnumber them, so it be too much of a problem. And to be honest, I wasn't entirely expecting to go completely free here. There are supplies. The ground support, I think. Yep, and they're trying to push up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn these guys into a kind of response force rather than. Which means I need to change all these garrison types to. Bring a lot of ace pilots here. For these, we'll turn into the with the extra tanks. Let's see now. Refractory push? Yes, please. Shipyards, that goes on space. Work off. For shipyards. I've done these earlier. Now it's just me. See what we get here. Useful to me. Anyway. Extra least useless. Because we need all these. Nice, we shot down a, an ace. All right, after this, I think the, hmm, let me see, under naval. Might be time to start updating, searching bear subs, because we're going to lose a lot of them here. And another race. Ooh, southern Sweden. Might just attach some of these off.
Oh, this is going so far. It looks like we do not have nearly enough planes to keep the skies clear. Oh, but that'll help. I was right there, Air Force. Of course, once they actually declare war on the Soviet Union, it should help us a bit. We do not have nearly enough factories, I've got nearly enough planes for this. Basically, has declared war on Greece. Well, this isn't going as well as I'd have liked, but that's from Natalia. I am, however, going to call this episode here for now. Okay, so, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.